Strategic car buying in today's car market includes managing your car buying expectations, a definite key to experiencing a much improved chance of getting the vehicle you want. A lot more on that coming. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, having spent the last 14 years helping car buyers here on YouTube, known as the Homework Guy. I'm joined today by the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. In all the years that we've been involved in car sales, we've never seen anything like what happened to car inventories over the last few years. Yeah. It disrupted everything. It's uncharted territory literally for everyone in the car business, no matter how much an expert they want to say they are. As it turns out, Liz, one of the biggest things car buyers need to make adjustments on in today's market is having increased flexibility. Right. And to clarify that, Kevin does not mean you should be more open to paying astronomically high fees or that you should just start accepting the fact that forced add-ons are a part of life now. Not at all. Nor is he saying that you should be open to paying market adjustments. No, that's not what we're talking about at all. The flexibility that Kevin is talking about has nothing to do with those things. And being crystal clear, you shouldn't be agreeing to pay for all that nonsense either. You got it, Liz. I'm not saying that you should be flexible to paying through the nose for your car. You should not. In fact, right now in the state of Florida, of all places in the United States, we are putting together invoice prices and at a minimum, the final price is much lower than MSRP. What I am saying with regard to flexibility is that you'll have to be a bit more flexible on what you actually get because not everything you may have been dreaming about in your next vehicle is likely to even be available. Yeah. For probably the next year or two, this will be true. It's going to take a while for manufacturers to start filling dealer lots across the country, and we definitely won't see a return to inventory levels we experienced prior to COVID, even if manufacturers could do that. They flat out won't because too much supply drives prices down, which they don't want. And furthermore, car buyers already proved they were willing to pay continually more through the last two years of the pandemic. Right. So on to things like color. Have three or four options that you're open to. No, and I'm not kidding. And as far as entry-level trims go on vehicles, just know that those have become scarce to non-existent. Pretty much can't find them. With the chips they have on hand, what happens to be the greatest amount of inventory out there are the middle trim levels on up. So for example, take a Toyota Highlander, a very difficult vehicle to get in any state right now, especially if it's a hybrid. Something Toyota started doing that not everyone likes, it was to add bronze wheels on several of those Highlander vehicles. Let me say this, if you really want a Toyota hybrid, get used to the idea that it just may have the bronze edition wheels on it, whether you like those or not. If you don't like bronze, seriously think about buying your own set of custom wheels after the fact and selling your bronze set of wheels to help offset the cost. Exactly. Get your own set of wheels. Right. Another thing are those bells and whistles that people like to accessorize their vehicles with. Friends, you need to seriously think about aftermarket solutions for a number of different things. Yep. If you definitely want tinted windows, running boards on a truck, box liners and covers, driving lights, etc., all that kind of stuff you can buy from an aftermarket seller. If the stock wheels that a vehicle comes with aren't your favorite, get your own tires and wheels. Sell the stock ones to offset the cost of replacement. Yes. Also, if you want leather seats, but no vehicles equipped with leather seats are available, think about doing stuff like that after the fact too. Quite often, that leather is a lot better than the leather that comes from the factory. Mm -hmm. So places like carparts.com, and no, we don't get a thing for telling you this, have everything from OEM replica wheels to all new steering wheels to different grills and bumpers to truck bed and tailgate accessories, off-road lighting, cargo accessories, liners and mats, and even a variety of tow packages. All of these things can be purchased much cheaper from somewhere else in the dealer, and you definitely don't need your next vehicle to come from the factory equipped with all of those things. One of the things I recommend doing is taking a look at a book out of KBB or sites like that for options so you are familiar with what can be included on a book value report for your vehicle. Bingo. That way you're investing in things that could actually boost the resale value of your vehicle later. That's really solid advice there, Liz. I agree entirely. Think about things that show up on a book value sheet for your vehicle with a truck. Things that always work are running boards, a box liner, box cover, and a tow package. They'll all be on a book value sheet. Yes. A carpeted dash, fancy seat covers, or dice hanging off your mirror, they'll <laughs> definitely not be on a book out sheet. Fabric protection and paint protection will also not be on there. An extended warranty won't be on a book out ever. This is a great place to mention that when you sit down in finance, absolutely nothing that the finance officer will try to sell you will increase the book value of your vehicle. And by the way, friends, that's the number one source of proof 
that no banker will ever say they want you to buy F&I products and they will never say a special interest rate is being reserved for you if you buy finance products. That is always a big fat lie. The bottom line is this friends, many of you say you want a new car, but then you hamstring yourself by putting such tight restrictions on what you're willing to accept that you're literally shooting yourself in your own foot. Take Toyota for example, if you sincerely want a Toyota, your horizon has to be wide open to possibilities because dealers are only getting what Toyota wants them to get. Most regions are simply receiving allocations with no choices, no factory customizations or special orders are even available. Like it or not, it's kind of a take it or leave it vehicle market right now. If a given vehicle similar to what you're looking for isn't already in the pipeline somewhere, I can promise you it's going to be a very long time before you see any real chance of the vehicle you're after. Very long. Very, very long. Yeah. Well, friends, that's our show for today. We hope you got great value out of it, and I hope we inspired you to continue being patient and wait for us to get to you in your state. We'll continue to connect you anxious buyers out there, and as I said recently, we now have used cars as an option in Florida too. Almost never can anyone else beat the price we can get for you, so keep that in mind. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. By the way, if you feel so inclined to show us some appreciation with a donation, forget about tips anymore. We remove those links from the description box. We much prefer that you do it with a fully tax deductible donation to support our nonprofit that helps children. An online option has been set up on Give, Send, Go, and all credit cards are accepted. The link is on the screen and can be found in the description box below. On our website, thehomerguy.com, you'll find a free car buyer's guide there and free email templates to use with car dealers. There's also a list of fake fees. It's all there on thehomerguy.com, free for you to download to use when car shopping. On our website and on our Facebook page is where we will also announce the launch of a call center we mentioned the other day. Totally looking forward to that. We are also excited to say that we'll soon be launching an opportunity for memberships here on YouTube and the memberships will allow for much improved access to both me and Kevin and we do really like direct contact with our viewers. More on that soon. And Kevin, you forgot to tell people that we're in the process of writing a book for car buyers with the help of a new staff member and it will be published first as an ebook. That's right. It will be the best car buyer's manual ever published, friends, and we're getting the direct involvement of a man who has spent the last decade working directly with dealers and knows the business model inside and out. Even more importantly, he knows exactly where the car market is right now and has useful tools you can use to win on your next car deal. He helped inspire this video today. As you can see, there is high value to hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Subscribing is free and painless to you, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did here for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. And if you just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.